When I was a little kid, my mom was fixing the truck. When I was a little kid, my mom was building the house. When I was a little kid, my mom was growing our food. When I was a little kid, my mom had the chainsaw. And when I was a little kid, my mom made the money to support our family. I come from a, a culture of very, very strong people, but also very strong women. Indigenous women are the strength of our nations, all of our nations. All women are the strength of all nations in the world. When I look back at them, they are the most creative, um, incredible women that just survived the harshest of times, and they survived it through their hands. Natives were always innovative. They evolved. So I think that whenever something was introduced that made life more easy, they did it. Throughout the suppression of Native cultures, art was one tool allowed Native people. So it's become the one outlet that was okay for us to speak about our own histories and our own um, experiences. There's something in it visually that tells you that there is a female behind the camera. I think it's a really subtle but really powerful shift for a woman to be behind the camera. Ka, the image, is a personification of clay lady, a spirit of the clay. And it became to me such a metaphor for how we feel as women and how we feel as empowered women and artists. So it's meant to operate as a shift in power because the power has been held by the story of who is the great, who are the masters, who are the top dogs in the world of art with a capital A has been dominated by um, European men and European American men. A nod to an acknowledgement of those female artists on the wall next to those men is meant to shift that power. When I do a contemporary piece, I like to twist the title and, and throw in a Howard Haida because I want them to know that it came from a Haida woman. And, and so with this one that I had in mind was Pocahaida because, you know, the cartoons coming out, you know, Pocahaida's every, or Pocahontas or whatever her name was, was everywhere. Instead of having the fur, I did it with see the clothing and I, and I put faux fur there. So the, the joke was, you know, she's a commercialized Haida woman. I was thinking about Native people and how they've had to use their own intellect to survive. So with thinking caps, it's about going through the whole life and somehow attaining wisdom. So it's, it's kind of a, a life span of thought there. It's a very deep piece. <laughs> There's so many ancestral items being shown alongside contemporary, and I hope that will lend people this um, understanding of what our resilience means and how these things have never died. We've all survived, and we talk about um, intergenerational trauma. There's also intergenerational resilience, that everything that can happen to human beings has happened to Native people, but we have developed techniques and skills to overcome it. Whatever challenges, whatever comes before us, we already have it as inside us as the net people and especially as the net women. This is our part of the world, the Americas. We're not going anywhere. We want the Americas, we want this place to be here for our future generations. Women are the first mothers. We're the, we're the beginning, we're the beginning step for all life. And uh, wow, what a responsibility, but what, what an honor to be born a woman. Rose has shown, you know, without a doubt that you can do anything you put your mind to. So there is nothing to stop you.